All right, so I finally got enough courage to crack open my waxer kit and use it. Here's this big ass five pound of wax that I got. Did not know that it was gonna be this big. I don't know what I thought five pounds was gonna be. <laughs> and I stole some cornstarch from my mama because I know that cornstarch is way healthier than baby powder. So I figured, oh, if I'm gonna put it on my cootie, might as well be healthy, right? Whatever. And this is the brand waxer I have. Hold on, let me take it out for you guys. All right, here's the Star Pell, Star Pell Waxer. It's the one pounder. Really cute, small and petite. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It has all of the knobs here. Um, I did some research, so let's see how this goes. It also came with the sticks that we should use. this little paintbrush thingy but i don't really know what it's for so i'll probably use this for my face mask or something so my setup is kind of crumb snatching because i cannot find my tripod so i'm going to be doing this inside of the bathroom using my yoga blocks in a stool a step ladder to achieve what's about to happen okay so first things first let me plug in this uh warmer i'm mad scared <laughs> That's and I just don't like how this bathroom only has one outlet. Like, are you shitting me right now? My bag of wax. I don't want to use too much because the first thing I'm going to do is wax my face. And I'm going to zoom into that room in a moment. Ooh, how pretty. It's lit. All right, I just finished washing my face with my black African soap. First of all, let's zoom in on Chewbacca over here. Okay, so first of all, just from right here, you see this mustache. But I'm not cute, right? And then I have these hairs that grow on the side of my face. And I get tired of plucking them because no matter how much I pluck, they keep coming back. Okay? I'm going to do my mustache. I'm going to do my nose. Now, I'm recording on my phone, so maybe it's not really that clear, but I have, like, little hairs on my nose. This is very normal for me. If you have the same thing, please comment. And I have just, like, you know, just a little soft hairs on my face. Under here, boy, about to start a whole beard. And I got the same little beard pieces that be sticking out that I always have to freaking pluck. So, hopefully, I'm nice at this whole, uh self-waxing and i never have to go back to the spa again so this is what we looking like Ooh, it's almost there <laughs> all right it's lit let's do it just enough for my face and probably even my underarms too yeah i think this might be a little too drippy i'm gonna let it cool a little bit all right let's get it popping all right it's a little drippy but i'm gonna do how the chinas do and blow right ghetto all right let's do it It hardens really fast. Whoa. Mm. Ooh la la, baby. Hold on, where's the camera? I don't even know if you could see that. All right, the other side. Oh, shit. 
Stuff is tricky, yo. And I'm scared as hell. All right. Once again, I don't know if it's going to show. This is me trying. <laughs> okay. One more time on the lip. Now, this this wax is super quick drying. And I read somewhere if you let it dry too hard, then it'll just break apart. So, you know, you got to move quick. How are we looking? Stash be going. Now for under the lip. And you know what? I'm messing up already because I read that it's unsanitary to blow on it. So I'm going to stop doing that. See, I, I, I can read. I can listen. Or was that about makeup rushes? I don't remember, but whatever. Wait until my friends see this shit. Make sure it's latching on to them hairs. All right. Whoa, OD. All right, next up is gonna be my chin. And like I mentioned before, I have these super stubborn hairs. I might just have to pluck it anyway. The blatant disrespect. I'm really excited because I spent a lot of money getting waxed. So the fact that I'm feeling kind of comfortable doing this right now is cool because uh, this is for my hairy girls, first of all. Drink crazy. I shaved to today. I shave right now and the next hour I'm going to have stubs. So waxing is definitely a lifesaver. And then once I get my money up, I'm going to go ahead and make that transition up to uh, laser hair removal. Shorty, we really having a whole beard. I used to get teased for being this hairy. It is what it is. People used to call me gorilla, monkey, all that. Still has swag though. <laughs> like, oh, no. Nah. It got one of the crazy stubborn hairs. Nah. Hold up. Can you see that? I want you to see it. Hold on. I got to turn the camera. Do you see that hoe? Wow. Look at it right there. <laughs> That's lit. Okay. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to do the top of my... It's actually my favorite part whenever my lady does it. So she goes up and to the side. That was kind of sloppy. Let me try that again. That all in the creek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Yeah. All of this. Now, a lot of times when I get this side done, they ask me to take my nose ring out, and I'm like, no. It's <laughs> a part of my identity. You're going to have to figure it out, girl. And they just go around it and it works. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna do it right here and right here. Mm. This shit hurts. Woof! from the root though you see that and look at this one 
Yes. I'm not touching my eyebrows because they're already crumb snatching and I'm trying to let them grow. Okay, face is done. And now I'm gonna do my underarms. I know this isn't enough hair for waxing, but it looks like this because I gave in and shaved and I never ever shave. I'm always going to get waxed. But I think I can still do a little sun sun. Down here might be a little different, but Definitely enough hair up here to get it done, I think. So let's see how it's gonna go. So yeah, it's not gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be all pretty. This hair gotta go because it's about to be tank top weather. Whoa, but if you went to this kind of stuff, look at it. <sighs> you girl need a break. Intermission. I wanna make my underarm nice and pretty. Anybody got any kind of tips for me? I have papaya soap, which is supposed to be good for light, um, lightening your your skin. So I'm going to use that to even it out. But like, I have all these little bumps and little dents. Anybody know how, how I could get rid of these? It would be greatly appreciated. Using my left hand. It's not working for you, girl. wasn't bad at all wasn't bad at all look at that all right i'm feeling real confident i think i could do my coochie i think i could do it i think i could do it i think i could do it there's a little few here so i'm gonna pluck out but so far so good Whew. all right now it's time for chewbacca now i refuse to shave down there because i'm very prone to ingrown hairs and I just don't want the drama. And let me put my glasses on so I don't make no mistakes. I hope I don't rip a lip off. 72 hours later. Two days later. All right, I am done. Here's what I've gotten rid of. I was able to do full bikini, straight up bald, and butt strips. And that might be the easiest part to do as far as pain goes. Now it's time to clean up. All right, and that concludes my waxing video. Um, I highly recommend this brand, Starpale. Um, it took me a little while because it's my first time. Here it is. It gets really, really hot, so you have to be careful. And here's the box. It was great. I had to use two of these and um, two cups of wax. That was for my face, underarms, bikini, entire uh, cookie, and butt strips. And it was successful. It's now time for me to go ahead and clean up the big mess that I made. But if you guys enjoyed this video... Make sure you subscribe and yeah, if if there's any um, advice you could give me for my pros out there, please let your girl know. Holla!